Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and it's time once more to return to the main streets of Silent Hill. But this time, we're going with the different scenario, the sub-scenario born from a wish. This one, as you can see, does not have a riddle difficulty level, just an action level, so let's go ahead and stick with hard, just because. to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But, but is there anyone left alive? And so begins Maria's journey through Silent Hill. And get some revolver bullets there. Also a couple of health drinks. A good start to things, certainly. Looking in her inventory, her only weapon currently is a revolver that holds a maximum load of ten bullets. I admittedly don't know much about firearms, but don't revolvers normally only hold six bullets? Maybe there are bigger ones and I'm just not familiar with them, I don't know. Anyway, it is interesting to note, looking at this, that from the start, she only has one bullet in the chamber. So, probably her thoughts before beginning her little trip were kinda negative at best. Let's go ahead and fix that. So now we're in a somewhat familiar area. Maria begins her journey at Heaven's Night. Just a special message I'd like to point out here if you try and leave. Isn't there a weapon besides this gun? I'm a little nervous with just this. I kind of want to point that out for later. Anyway, coming over here, we get a first aid kit, and also, a Chinese cleaver. Square bladed knife, ugly but powerful and easy to use. And in fact, my preferred weapon for Maria's scenario. So with that, we're done at Heaven's Night, and we can move on. The reason I like the cleaver. Like the plank, she can run while attacking. Great fun is to be had. So looking at the map at this point, there really isn't anything guiding us where we need to go. So the first part of Maria's scenario is kind of blind, really. However, we do end up going right past Brookhaven. There's nothing for me to do here. Uh, you say that now.
Of course she does have enemies to contend with, and the lying figures are just as annoying as ever on hard mode. But essentially, as is usually the case with outdoor areas, it's not really worth stopping to fight them right now. Oh, I'm used to the main scenario. I could have sworn there was something over there to pick up. Apparently not. One notable thing is that Maria never gets a flashlight or a radio, so you have to be pretty observant about monsters being around you, and you're going to have to contend with some darker areas. Now that just amuses me. The crawling lion figure up there, it can't get down to hurt you, so it's just silly. <laughs> couple more health drinks, always welcome. a fair number of goodies to obtain before going where you're really supposed to go. So it certainly doesn't hurt to explore a little bit. Oh, bad timing there, Maria. The cleaver does do a nice number, though, on the mannequins. Uh, let's see. Yeah, better chug something. There we go. Can be easy to underestimate the damage that's been done to you. Let me stomp your friend, now you can have a nice knifing. There now. And we get a couple of boxes of revolver bullets. Essentially, with Maria's scenario, it seems like it's best to deal with mannequins with the cleaver and lying figures with the revolver. That seems to be a basic rule of thumb here. And even then, I find it best to not bother fighting too much unless enemies are right in the way of what you're getting out here in this street area. Once you get to the main area, it's more worth fighting. That's rather gruesome. And yet she has no reaction to it. Down this little dead end, we can find a pickup truck that has some stuff in the back. Revolver bullets and a first aid kit. But we're close to our destination. This door here. But in here we find ourselves confronted by two lying figures. So, revolver at the ready. Plenty of ammo, thanks to bullet adjust. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to need it. Pretty much that music is your only real indicator of how dead the enemies really are. Given that she does not get a radio, ever. But we have somebody lying here. Dead. That's her big observation on this. Well, time to head inside. And so we find ourselves in a completely new area that isn't in the main scenario at all. Quite a fancy mansion. With doors all over the place. And we quickly run out of options. For the most part, Maria's scenario is actually pretty linear. And thus we find a map. Psh, what? You don't have a map of your house just lying around? So here we are in the Baldwin house. So this is where they all live. All fifty million of them. The fireplace is boarded off. Do not use is written on it. Another first aid kit. More ammo, always nice. And we have a save point, but we'll come back to it. For now, let's just keep looking around. We can go this way. Anyone? Nope, not today. <laughs> 